What is up everybody, Golden Yogi here, and you are tuning into the channel with the Golden Perspective. Today we have Sriyar Singh of Polygon Studios, which is the NFT and gaming arm of Polygon. Matic, huge, doing amazing things, adding tons and tons of value into the market all the time. Uh, before we get into that interview, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you to all those who have. While you're down there, be sure to turn on the post notification so you know when the next video is coming up. And please feel free to leave me a comment. My one request, okay, challenge to all each and one of you, is please be civil in your discourse. Kindness and compassion are absolutely free. And I truly believe that each and any, every one of us, if we just take a moment to filter our thoughts through those, we can each make the world a better place. All right. And also, please go follow me on library uh, as YouTube becomes less and less uh, uh, censorship resistant and more censored. Uh, library and Odyssey are that place where we can still uh, come together and not be uh, censored. Okay, thank you so much for that. Let's get into this interview. I am so happy to uh, bring this to you. Let's check it out. So we have today Shreyansh with Polygon Studios, and I'm really excited because I know very little about uh, Polygon Studios and what they do for the overall uh, Polygon ecosystem. So we have Shreyansh here. Um, please uh, give us a, a light introduction, how long you've been with uh, Polygon or Polygon Studios. So for me, I would say uh, it's been almost uh, two years for me here at Polygon. and. Uh, I've been uh, leading the Polygon's uh, NFT and gaming efforts pretty much from the start, pretty much from the start. And then a few months back, uh, because we were doing pretty good on the NFT and gaming segment. So we thought, I thought this, uh, we should do a dedicated effort here. And because now, and since NFTs went mainstream, all the Web2 folks, all the giants, and everyone is looking into the space. The, after that is fandom celebrities are coming and brands are talking about this. And you know, the, the biggest thing would be gaming. Where NFTs are a lot of, uh, because it's display to an economy, NFTs will have a lot of utility there sure. as well. So we thought maybe we need a dedicated effort. So we launched this uh, Polygon's NFT and gaming on called Polygon Studios with a hundred billion dollar fund. Okay, interesting. As you started to say the NFT and gaming, um, and then knowing that there was this hundred million dollar like fund to go and sort of inspire. Uh, uh, game builders and whatnot. That's what I mostly heard, game builders. But now we see that NFTs play a huge role in gaming and the, the items and, and so many different. I'm sure like it's, yeah. there are things that we haven't yeah. even conceptualized yeah, yet. Yeah, I've into it, yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, exactly. land, you know, uh, le just pretty much everything. I'm sure you could pretty soon yeah. you'll be in there, you're building a house and you have a little space and you need to buy a new microwave and you go buy this microwave yeah. NFT and you come and place it on your NFT, you know, kitchen countertop. NFT house, yeah. Yeah, NFT house, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, the whole uh, like probably much, like this, the Sims kind of concept, you can. Yeah, so yeah, everything will be tokenized. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Um, so uh, what would you say are some of the um, most exciting things that you've seen so far in this invitation and bringing in any of these uh, uh, game institutions or NFT projects? Uh, I think it's more about when we explain the value, uh, the play to an economy, because everyone is hearing NFTs and they're, uh, when we speak to, let's say the Web2 folks, the people who don't uh, know that crypto savvy and such, but when we explain NFT, so they feel uh, they still feel like okay, this is something new and cool. That's why it's trending. But we, when we show the real value, the digital ownership, and when it comes to definitely on the gaming segment, when we explain what is play to earn, what value it holds, and uh, what it brings, so pretty much everyone is dazzled by it. Okay, players can also earn, developers can also. So it's uh, in some way it's a win-win for everyone, right? So I think that's the most inter uh, interesting concept that we've broken to people, and when uh, the uh, anyone I've explained this to, uh, whenever they would realize, okay, what value tools, they have been dazzled. Like, okay, we want to do this, how to do this, what are the risks involved, and how we can enable this. So I think play to one is definitely the biggest thing, and the metaverse, like metaverse creating an uh, entirely parallel universe. Metaverse has existed many, 
from many years all these games call of duty pretty much over the thing it uh, they were a metaverse in some way right metaverse centric projects of vr spaces but when we pro, pro execute uh, involve blockchain and nfts and this digital ownership aspect like we were talking about earlier the house the tokenized kitchen and the, then the tokenized microwave tokenized everything tokenized land so it's like a running on a parallel uh, or, or pretty much a parallel world so i think that definitely peaks interest of a lot of people and recently like facebook also announced facebook is uh, positioning itself as a will be positioning itself as a metaverse company in the near future so i think that's big now everyone is talking about metaverse too wow okay so i'm sure you've seen the film ready player one right yeah you're right yeah, I think so I this this is where it really seems like it's going um and one that storyline is more in this dystopian situation i who knows maybe we're going that direction um yeah. uh you know with with everything that's happened in the state of the world with uh you know the pandemic and everyone getting locked in it certainly has probably provided more fuel towards that momentum and direction of play to earn because when people are stuck inside what else are they going to do they got to be yeah, definitely you know, yeah. they uh, yeah, pretty exactly. much have, the... once they've watched everything on netflix <laughs> um <laughs> you, you know, know they... what's next what's next uh, yeah right. i think and... definitely pandemic is definitely giving metaverse all the all the aspects a boost now you can like hold events there do parties there maybe or everyone is working from home so let's work in decent land right <laughs> exactly exactly you can build, and... you can build your offices there yeah totally um so i i wonder i thought about this so there's to me the idea of the metaverse like it bring up ready player one because in that like film and 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 book the uh it was the oasis right and that was mm-hmm. like everything was in the oasis mm-hmm. but there were different like planets or lands like do you see the like but we also see right now there's a lot of different people building a metaverse so are we in competition or are we going to see all of these eventually sort of come together into what is we can conceptualize as like the oasis and these are all just different planets that so yes definitely i think meta, metaverse is one so everything comes into metaverse so all other the, we can say our vr space major vr space like decentraland somnium space sandbox uh some other folks are also like division of work from uh, the base out of korea and some other teams are working on this idea and i think this will all because the future is metaverse compatibility as well right you definitely want a connection if you're partying in decent land and you definitely now you want to jump into sandbox as well so it should be a one click setup like all these should be attached in some way and i think that's the future okay do you and so you're saying that they are speaking and working with each other on how to integrate no no i'm know, saying they should uh, i think that Yeah, I think uh, it should be that way, and should I think be. the coming okay. years it will be. It will be okay. The okay, years, it... it's probably we're not at that level yet, and it seems at yeah, this yes. point it's more of a it's at the point where it's at competition level of who's going to mm-hmm. gain the most adoption. That's so am I, I think right? Because uh, yeah, in some way you can say like uh, everyone pegs metaverse or attaches metaverse only towards gaming, and I think it's much more than that. And the value metaverse brings is. Uh, i think we haven't even scratched the surface there so the world the future is open metaverse it should be open for everyone and anyone right so that will that's where we lead the these sort of compatibilities between all these vr species as well they are coming on nothing coming and working together and even people are experiencing a whole lot of bunch of different things like uh, the decent land you can play or party or hold events there the chat boxing and play there play sort of games there and people are building shopping malls and everything you can go shopping and you can get like digital nfts you can redeem them at those store or maybe in or you can get those physical items delivered to your home then nfts gets born so i think the your entire experience your entire world is uh, coming on to the side and i think that right. would uh, that way compatible metaverse compatibility would be the biggest uh, biggest thing that we that we'll be solving in the coming years wow and no one knows where it's going right like in 10 15 right. years maybe everything will be on a metaverse and people will <laughs> i think it will already play one and everything these things will become a, a, a true reality then well i mean to get into a more esoteric point of view it does seem that like you know the universe seems to want to create creating another versions of itself and if we're yes. one of those versions 
then it would make sense that we would then want to create a copy of ourselves inside of a inside of a, a you know a universe that yes <laughs> you know exactly that like that, running up uh, yeah, yeah exactly like a with, parallel universe exactly so let's say we have a we have our legal tenders there whether it's us dollar or fiat or INR or any other currency so in digital land it's mana and sandbox it's sand token with a uh, somnium space they have their own cube token so they all these they have their own legal tenders and everything so whatever you do there so they have their own economy it's like this all over ship you buy land there you build houses there you do pretty much everything there you can build schools there you can do anything there so it's like a parallel universe and we'll definitely be creating uh, our own characters our own replicas the <laughs> metaverse that's really cool um what what do you think about uh like uh some of these nft collections like uh do you have an opinion on say like uh the bored apes or they seem to be trending a lot right now or the mutant apes so uh, i love them i uh, i think uh, i hold a couple of, i think i started uh, i joined a bit late to be honest but i hold i think a couple of them i think they are fantastic <clears throat> Uh, I I love these projects and I think there's just too many coming but uh, these projects like bring real value and you can there's so much to it right you can use it so so many where I think it gives you your character a unique uh, I would say unique value as well right yeah i mean there's <clears throat> it's it's bringing on some of these ideas i've noticed of uh like for instance with the with the apes like if there was an orange background then now you are you are eligible to be in the orange dow you know so like almost they start to like they're starting to like segregate like the certain traits of your nfts oh, yeah. and now you're in this Different special book. club yeah. yeah and 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 maybe from being in that club you can have uh perhaps influence by bringing these these groups together of like oh let's um you know we just happen to all hold a more unique trait uh amongst mm -hmm. everything and yeah like i, yeah, I really that's, interested... uh, exactly like uh, different attributes different qualities are uh, bringing different value to you to the uh, to you as well i think that's uh, that's the unique segment yeah um let's see like uh anything else that uh, you know viewers here you think would should uh, know about um, what to expect from this uh, uh, gaming space specifically on Polygon? Polygon. So I would say Polygon Studios, uh, 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 it would be like the enabler. If anyone wants to build games, who, is, uh, who has a gaming background, who's passionate about NFTs and gaming, needs any support that, uh, whether it's funding, whether it's technical support, whether it's handholding on the business side. So. Uh, it would be it would be like an end to end support. So any uh, if anyone's curious about it, feel free to ping us, re reach out to us on Polygon Studios or anywhere you feel like on Twitter, or Telegram, anywhere. Okay, fantastic. And, and, coming, uh, and it will be definitely gaming and the play to one economy will definitely have a revolution in this uh, gaming space. And everyone will be looking into this space maybe in two to three years or four years or five years. But I think this is definitely going to be the biggest thing that's happened in gaming in the last 10, 15 years. Okay. What does uh like for instance, if somebody here is listening and they're interested in in wanting to build a project, and maybe at what stage would they need to be at in order to um, I think to really uh, start initiating I think the at, conversation. I think at any stage to uh, like because we definitely want to support on everything. If they even they want to, let's just speak on uh, what how the. Uh, Structuring the idea as well, or where NFT should be integrated, even on the business side, how to make it happen, even with the game mechanics, we are happy to support on all levels, even just the initial when they conceptualize the game or anything. We are happy to be present anywhere, pretty much from the scratch or whatever the stage they are already building. They need some tech support there, that's also mm -hmm. fine. Uh, on the funding segment, on the funding part, pretty much with everything. Stage okay. doesn't matter, I think. I would say, stage doesn't matter. Idea, okay, speak to us. Okay, okay. I mean, so like, for instance, like if, uh, do do are there like non-disclosure agreements like signed if somebody has a, a an idea that might be mind-blowing you know um is uh yeah for uh, sure 
Polygon Studios yeah, comes so. in to like to to make sure the the you know the the IP stays with you know those who are building it instead of yes definitely yes okay. definitely because Polygon definitely uh, being a public chain so we definitely uh, because it's a it's Web three right so we don't get into fine print or signing contracts but if uh, someone's not comfortable with that they want to so get into an NDA or maybe sign an illegal lock so I think it's good it's cool with us we are not enforcing okay. anything but if it's required from their side we are happy to do that as well that's fantastic um. I have a question I'm, I'm interested in, you know, being that you've been in this space for a while is uh, something that has been somewhat concerning for me in the NFT space is that where the art is actually stored, you know, that, that you know, pretty much most of this art is, is stored on IPFS, right? Mm -hmm. Because the chain, the blockchain itself cannot, store that data it's not large enough the blocks aren't big enough right um so i think uh, yeah i totally get that i think currently it's everything stored on ipfs servers i think there are a few fantastic teams working on it i think one would be the zero chain team they are doing a great job at it and uh, and one would be aleph.im they're already integrated with polygon and there are a couple of teams as well who like uh, maybe doing uh, it's like sharding of assets like they break down assets into different seg different part different segments and then put the data on different blocks uh, your entire music collection maybe your uh, your nft data your metadata and into everything and so it's like a you know, storing data in a decentralized manner so it's never lost okay so I think that's good to know that's good to know because that yeah that was one of those things is like okay well ipfs is not proven to me yet to be really censorship resistant mm -hmm. and you know perhaps some government or something doesn't care about taking down pictures of apes you know um mm -hmm. but yeah where we might move to into protecting our data our information in in this kind of realm uh they might and and having yeah. something more you know with that that strength of censorship resistance to me holds even more value yeah, for sure. I think there's definitely uh, a lot of people have already addressed these issues. That's why these teams are working on it. I think few have already solved those. I don't have a, I can't say like I'm an expert on this, but I think few teams have already solved this. So okay. the major adoption coming is there as well. I think uh, pretty much everyone is comfortable with IPFS for now, but I think few people definitely have those. Even I have some reservations on that. So yeah, solutions okay. are there. We just need to explore them. Right, right. Exactly. That's one thing I'm always excited is, uh, seeing the amount of developers leaving other industry to come, you know, into this. And uh, uh, like, for instance, through, <laughs> through the, uh, the COVID era so far, I've heard like some of these uh, bigger tech companies have increased the salaries and bonuses so much just to retain um, mm -hmm. their talent because they, their talent keeps getting taken away. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this space is bringing unique value and there has been so much development in the seven, eight months itself. I think we have taken a gi gigantic leap in the last seven, eight months itself. And so much, so many people are now looking into the space, building stuff. And you're absolutely like, I'm still in awe of the space. It's been a while, but still I see projects and I just feel like, okay, they are doing mind, mind boggling uh, stuff. Right. I think this right. space keeps on surprising you every day. Absolutely. And, um, you know, Polygon Asthmatic has been around for quite some time. It, what was the date of the, um, do you remember approximately what the date of uh, uh, the actual launch to where the mainnet was was active? So it was uh, exact mainnet launched, I would say somewhere around 14 months back around. Okay. Around or maybe uh, last year, June. So we did, I know the year we did the IU on Binance on 26 April, 2019. Right. Right. I so remember main that. It, main, yeah, main it went live somewhere around April and June last year. And, but the, there was a bit of a pivot, right? Like the original intent was more to be a layer two for Ethereum, but mm -hmm. now it's That's, sort of just an, an option. <laughs> so for, if uh, we are not positioned because lots of projects and people are coming out, okay, we want to use this. Okay. Are you working on this as well? So uh, we thought, okay, we already are POS, uh, this Polygon POS solution is already live. 
and it's the most battle tested chain all are uh, i would say the biggest of the defi protocols like aave sushi or those ones all our biggest teams are also using that but we thought it's better to be an aggregator of all it is we are working on zk we did a recently we did a 250 million dollar acquisition of hermes as well who's building uh, who's working on zk and some other big things as well like uh, will be rolling out pretty soon and we know for especially for gaming i think dapp centric chains would be the future everyone would want their own chain so with polygon sdk you can spin off your own chain it will be going live in, a, in in the coming months as well so it's like rather than building one solution uh, we are now positioning ourselves as aggregators whatever you want to use all is present here okay that's your, yeah that's good to know and um do we have any active play to earn games on polygon right now uh yeah there are a few There are I think few, this okay. chain guardians, the entire uh, Animoca's remote control was put ecosystem is moving to Polygon, and then there is Zedron as well. Zedron, Zedron, three cent round was close by sixteen Z, uh, and a few bunch of other games as well. I think I can share the entire list with you. Yeah, I'm waiting for that big unicorn. I mean, the Star Atlas to the, today went crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> some people are seeing like a hundred and fifty X already on uh, appreciation. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people are excited for that, so I'm excited to see you know what game builders come and bring over to uh, uh, to Polygon because to be honest, um, you know I'm always looking for solutions that are frictionless, you know blockchain solutions that are frictionless and easy to use. Yes, of course. And you know, and and uh, uh, and Solana seems to be going that way. What I like that Polygon did is that um, you guys use the same like like how Ether Scan, like Polygon Scan. I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure if that was directly with you or somebody else who who built that, or if it was just a, a fork of Ether Scan. But I love that it's using the same format because so much of the adoption curve has already happened on on Ethereum when it comes to uh, decentralized applications. And so we're once we get used to looking at things in a certain way, as soon as a new chain I comes up and they do it, it's completely different. Now we have to relearn. So I would say that's the future. When I, uh, when it comes to gaming, that's what we are working on. So I, I think on Polygon, if you want to frictionalize experience, try Zedron, uh, try Mega Crypto Polis, try uh, Animo Cars Motorsport Ecosystem, try F1. So I think these games are already existed on Polygon for a while now, and in some way. I think that's the future because if you are getting one to one board masses, the next hundred million dollar users, I think gaming is would be your go to solution there, the your go to segment. I would say it's easy to get gamers rather than tech savvy people, <laughs> right? Right. And I think that's the graph we are trying to bridge at Polygon and with Polygon Studios as well, providing that sort of SDKs, APIs, easy to work with solutions, so people can come build games on Unreal Engine, Unity Engine, and directly integrate NFTs to that. And Polygon would would be the base infrastructure layer there. This is great. Thank you so much for uh, um, you know sharing all this with us. Is there anything else you'd like to to add? I feel like uh, uh, I'm almost out of questions here. You're you've provided <laughs> us so much information. Uh, no, nothing in particular. I would say. Uh, okay. All good. Yep. Well, fantastic. I am super honored to have you here, and I hope all of our uh, our our viewers here. Um, you know, into the future, come back to this video and, uh, you know, we'll see it as a uh, precursor to what does end up happening in the future. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, Mayu. Thanks for having me here. All right. That was amazing. Yes. Shriyansh is uh, really on top of this. I'm super excited and I hope to build a future relationship with, uh, Polygon Studios and bring more content as things develop. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a blessed one. Peace.